Friday, July 21, 2023. Wow, galing. Yung aking and date for today is parang closer to my uh, K-Tex. First, Samuel 12.22. O, diba? 12.22. Have you been lonely? Uh, in in First Samuel 12 verse 22 it says For the Lord will not forsake his people for his great name's sake because it has placed the Lord to meet you his people. So hindi niya tayo pina forsake kasi happy siya tayo ang kanyang people for the lonely people the stakes given to us by 1 Samuel 12.22 for the Lord will not forsake his people for his great name's sake because it has place to the Lord to make you his people Time and again throughout the Old Testament, we find the Lord reaching out to His people, revealing Himself to them, desiring to be with them and to communicate with them. In 1 Samuel 12, 22, we find the promise of God, for the Lord will not forsake His people. For his great name's sake, because it has placed the Lord to make you and me his people. God desire companionship, fellowship, and communion with those who will reciprocate. For expression of friendship. We can count on the close communication with the Lord even if everyone else abandon us. You see, this is the life of Jesus also. On the very night he was arrested and put on trials trials that lead to his crucifixion he said to his disciples indeed the hour is coming yes has now come you will be scattered each to his own and will leave me alone can you hear the pain in that statement Jesus knew what is was to be lonely but then he said and yet I am not alone because the father is with me in 1 John 16 32 Jesus knew what it was to be comported even in the face of abandonment we must do us to turn our focus away from what we don't have to what we do have what do we have again when loneliness engulf us the first thing we must do is to turn our focus away from what we don't have to what we do have what do we have God himself you can never be alone once you have trusted in Jesus Christ as your Savior.
he promises he promises that he dwell within you when you receive him into your life and that he is connected to you just as the vine and the branches are connected in the same way that sap flow through a vine and its branches so to the love of Christ flows in you and through you he abide in you and you will abide in him You are the only being with Christ. You share with Him the most intimate relationship possible. An eternal spiritual intimacy. 1 John 15, 1-9 of intimacy is to a great extent. It's up to you. How much do you desire that intimacy with the Lord? How much do you allow Him to fill you up with His presence? How willing you are for Him to reveal Himself to you. Even so, you can never totally isolate yourself from the Lord. He is always there, desiring to move ever closing to you as long as you want Him into your life. So, This message is a very wonderful message that I've learned. It's because also Jesus nakaranas din ng loneliness and feel alone like us during the times of our trouble me Jesus also in trouble he's alone because his disciple his people scattered far from him we also as human beings sometimes uh, when we have plenty we have everything we have so many friends relatives to come to us but when times of trouble did you experience it also when your times of loneliness you're alone home you took the lord me i communicate with the lord I prayed Father in heaven. I asking for comfort. I don't ask a friend. I don't ask a relative. I don't ask anyone to comfort me. I only trust to the Lord. I share all what I have in my heart to the Lord para safe siya lang nakakaalam ng kapwa mo yan ang sikreto natin as a human being whatever we have in our heart we must share to the Lord to release the pain the heartaches the burden what else spiritual emotional financial all of that 
you share and communicate to the Lord. That's the right way. And you may closer to Him as we ask forgiveness. Diba? Lahat tayo nakakaranas nun. Walang perfecto dito sa mundo. So, kailangan natin elit ko whatever we have share natin kay God kasi we are His people as long na we desire to communicate to Him to fellowship with Him to make friendship with Him so para we live happy and anxiety free he is always there desiring to move ever closer to you and me good morning and happy friday thank you for listening Please pray for everyone, not for you, yourself. Because other people will pray for you and you also pray for other people. That's the way we communicate with the Lord. And huwag natin ikahiya na tayo ay nakaranas ng loneliness feel alone kasi si God also during the time of trouble in his life feel alone din siya and lonely din siya pero he's not feeling lonely alone because he knew that God is with him Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Just comment. Leave a message so that I can answer what you have in your heart. God bless and happy Friday.